Distinguished Mr. President, dear Volodymyr, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, Dorohi Ukrainski Druzi. The fourth summit of the Crimea platform marks the 10th anniversary of the illegal annexation of Crimea by Russia. Today's meeting is an important symbol that the world remembers and will not forget. It also serves as an opportunity for all of us to state clearly that the issue of Crimea is not indifferent to us and that we will not be indifferent to the obvious violation of international law and of Ukraine's territorial integrity. The illegal annexation of Crimea and Sevastopol in March and April 2014 revealed the true criminal face of Russia and Vladimir Putin. These actions were, in fact, a prelude to the events we have been witnessing since 2022. Already then, 10 years ago, the world could see Russia's true intention towards Ukraine. That is, the annexation of Ukrainian territories and the destruction of Ukrainian culture and language. Unfortunately, the world watched but did not see. It listened but did not want to hear. Poland and other Central European countries have known this face of Moscow. Russia has centuries of imperialist and colonizing traditions. Under Putin's rule, it systematically continues the policy of expanding its territory and economically exploiting the occupied areas. Despite the passage of time, Russia still sees neighboring countries as its exclusive sphere of influence. It denies the nations inhabiting them the right to self-determination and negates their history, culture and traditions. We have seen firsthand since 2014 what Russia's approach to the conquered nations looks like by observing its brutal policy towards the Crimean Tatars. Unlawful detentions, deportations, torture, inhuman treatment, intimidation and discrimination all become elements of the everyday life of the inhabitants of Crimea. The forceful conscription of Crimean Tatars into the Russian armed forces in order to send them to fight against Ukraine is another example of Russia's disregard for international humanitarian law. There are known cases of towns like Bakhchisarai, where 90% of them were called up to join the Russian army. It is extermination in installments. It has to be stopped as soon as possible. Therefore, we have to stay strong and united in solidarity with Ukraine. We must ensure that the Kremlin faces a strategic defeat. Russia must be held accountable for the damage it has caused. It will happen only if we increase the cost of this war for Moscow by further weakening its military industrial base and striking at the heart of its economy. We must also make sure that sanctions and economic measures strike where it hurts the most. I've said it more than once, but I will say it again today. Crimea is Ukraine, and it will remain Ukrainian. Thank you very much.